Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria, and this is Veritas Tarot Pisces. I'm going to do your August reading. I am sorry it is a little later than planned, but I do trust that in divine timing, you will be seeing these messages exactly when you need to see them if this if this reading resonates with you. Uh, so I'm going to be pulling three cards up from my Guardian Angel Tarot deck. We're going to be looking at your aspirations. We're going to be looking at the hurdle also that you're facing, whether you're aware of it or not. And then we're going to be looking at a little extra a spiritual solution and finishing off with an energy and spirit oracle for you my darling so let's move ahead with the reading uh, for those that most need to hear it for pisces this is your aspiration what you're aspiring to at this time thank you spirit just one card please so we've got the seven of pentacles then i'll come back to obviously to that then we're going to be looking at the hurdle that you're facing at this time Thank you, Spirit. Too many cards, but I'm seeing the Magician. Hurdle, thank you. That wanted to come out. We've got the King of Wands. Okay, so fantastic. And then we are also, there we go, looking at your spiritual solution, the Moon card. And on the bottom of the deck, you have got the Strength card. So, um, what this is saying to me, first of all, with the strength card is uh, believe in yourself at this time, believe that you are much stronger than you know, much more courageous than you know. And in fact, in doing something that is different, intending to something that you care greatly about with the seven of pentacles here, you are uh, portraying, uh, you are painting a picture of yourself for yourself and of others of um, somebody who stands in a place of uh, compassion, truth, understanding. Uh, it is a reminder for you with the strength card that it takes great commitment sometimes to continue along a path, even though you feel that there is a lot of um, uncertainty or fear or the unknown there. But Spirit is saying, uh, with these messages here, please trust, trust your intuition on this one. It's spot on for you at this time. And it's also about calming your fears. The strength card is about calming your fears at uh, this time. Look at, uh, look at how your nature, your gentle nature here, do you see with the, the, the lion is in submission and quiet and peaceful. Look at your sensitivity and your gentle nature and look at how uh, amazing that is as a gift to navigate your way through life at this time you know don't you don't have to take the hard cold approach the soft gentle touch approaching something with feeling with emotion with understanding with compassion will take you far and the lion is also uh, a representation of not choosing to get drawn into battles that really just don't deserve your attention choosing to just distance like the male lion does with its pride so i don't know if that means anything for somebody in terms of a family but choose your battles wisely and spend a lot of time just keeping yourself detached emotionally so there we are um and there is something incredibly beautiful about a lion. There is something incredibly beautiful we love to watch. They have a great deal of power, empowerment there, but they also have a great deal of grace. And grace is the universe grace. It's God's grace. And grace is a way of being humble in your approach. And this is wonderful. This is a really lovely reading for you, Pis Pisces. So your aspiration you have got the seven of pentacles here so you have already planted seeds you're already tending to them you're already nurturing them you're already protecting them do you see with the protective wall behind there and you are aspiring for the seeds that you have planted to grow now um remember within this space and I'm just seeing a little yellow canary bird there here as well. Uh, I want you to look that up for yourself if this reading has resonated with you. You've done a lot of the work. You've planted the seeds. You are nurturing them. You are tending for them. Now they will grow spontaneously, just like nature and life itself happens spontaneously. You have to respect the cycles of what it is that you are nurturing, you are aspiring, what it is your aspirations are, just like a life breath, to aspire as a life breath in, 
and the life breath to bring it in, to, to, to bring in that life force within you. You have created something anew. So now let it grow spontaneously, just like life itself, of its own accord. It's going to do it. It doesn't, it needs a little nurturing, it needs a little care, a little watering, uh, a little weeding, pulling out those fear weeds, but it will grow of its own accord spontaneously, just like life itself does. So let it happen by itself. Your hurdle, and you've got the king of wands. It is the trust in yourself that as the king of wands, things happen for you. You may feel that you are lucky. You may feel that you things just seem to work out. But you are causing and creating this. You are causing and creating this. Nobody else, you are doing it. You are co-creating incidences for yourself with the universe because you have that life spirit within you. That is your soul. That is your higher self, your super self, your super conscious. And you are connected to it in this space of tendering and nurturing and doing something that is a creative expression for yourself because you are uniquely able to do this. So it is a time of self-belief. This is your hurdle to believe. It says here the Midas touch. To believe you do have the Midas touch. To believe that everything you touch turns to gold because the magic is in the belief. If you believe in yourself, you're believing in your higher self. If you believe in yourself, you're sending out a vibration of I believe, I trust, I know, I'm co-creating, I'm causing all this to happen. What do I wish to happen? And then you are creating consciously. You're manifesting consciously. And things that you're not attached to seem to appear as if by magic in your life. It is to demonstrate to you the power of manifestation within you. How powerful you are. Power dash full. You are full of power when you manifest consciously as the king of wands. And the kings, just like the queens, sit in a court and they learn to receive and they listen and they embrace all counsel, wise counsel, and they make decisions from a wise space. Generally, most kings, but the king of wands certainly does. Um, and people come from all parts of their kingdom, strangers. So be ready, be prepared to hear messages, wise counsel from those that you might not know that are going to give you this belief and trust in yourself and the confidence and the power that you have within you because you are a creator you are life itself and you came here to create to observe to create to grow and to go home as an eternal spirit so enjoy this creation that you're doing and then you have the moon card the second of your um major arcanas the moon card, I love the moon card because the moon card is kind of saying, bang in your face, okay? Just like we see the moon every day. It's right there. Your intuition is right there. Listen to it, my darling. It's your inner learning, your intuition. Listen to it, trust it. You are being guided. There are very strong, I'm getting footprints, I'm getting blueprints for you to follow. Thank you, spirit. Blueprints for you to follow. Ask Say thank you to your angels, to your guys, to give you, to show you great big whopping breadcrumbs to follow, to present to you a gift, the gift of divinity, to present those ideas, those thoughts that make you go, ah, oh, which is the inspiration, the aspiring to. That's the moon card for you. It is saying that whatever you are thinking from your individual self space, your mind space, um, your conscious space, not your subconscious, not your superconscious, but your conscious space is unnecessary fear, unnecessary worry. There is magic that's happening here. And you just have to keep focusing and believing on the magic like you were a little girl who we all, or boy, we all believed in magic when we were younger. But it is only the conditioning within us um, that took that away from us. So step back into that space now um, and trust that although Things may not appear to be going in a straight line for you with the ease and the flow. If you go with the ease and the flow with what's happening, listening to your intuition and following the breadcrumbs, you will make this journey and it will be an enjoyable journey 
right back into source energy, into that connection with yourself where all seems possible. Because all is possible and all is possible and all is infinitely possible in the infinite unknown. So trust in your infinite intelligence at this time. So let's have a look at the energy and spirit oracle for you. And there are so many opportunities around you, my darling, that you may not be seeing at this time. Um, to have have a have a and keep spending time outside as well keep grounding yourself um okay so uh let's have a look at the energy and spirit oracle for you my darlings there we go so emotional influence phase entanglement very important that you don't get drawn into negative attachments entanglements conversations connections that draw away your energy that protect your energy my darling it's the most important thing protect it guard it cherish it don't believe what others may say that makes you feel bad about yourself nobody is wrong or right everybody has their own right perception from their lens of life whether it's clear or cloudy but that's how they feel. But you and only you have control over how you feel about something and how you feel about yourself and what your direct perception of life is. And the universe, God is seeing life through your eyes. You see life through its eyes. See what is happening around you. See the lessons that are being learned, what you're being asked to maybe release from your life, to let go of from your life. And don't let negative influences um, impact your perspective of who you are. Who are you sharing your vibration with at this time? Consciously aware of somebody who might be in a lower vibration to you, and they are meant to be exactly where they're meant to be. That is their soul's choice. And maybe their gift to others in that lower vibration is to help others raise their vibration, to see things through their perspective of life and how it uniquely then makes sense for them. But, you know, what vibrations are you sharing that is pulling you away from your soul's task, work at hand here right now. You know, don't give attention, my darling. Where attention goes, energy flows. Don't give attention to gossip and drama. Words are so powerful. Abracadabra. I create as I speak. So if you want that energy to disappear, apply the law of indifference. Just stop talking about it. Stop going there. Stop thinking about it. Don't get drawn into things. And it will naturally dissolve and dissipate from your life. And it'll give you free up, liberated energy for you to apply to what you're doing now. Because at the moment, you're reducing that energetic um, energetic vibration within you, that time that you're wishing to give to things that you wish to cherish. So set your positive affirmations say thank you for things dissolving and dissipating from your life because i'm going to give them no more attention if they're not meant to be in my life it is not according to the universe's plan for me then it will dissolve and dissipate and thank you for the attention that i'm going to give to my causing and creating which is for my greater good and therefore also for the greater good of others so there you are my darling for pisces um i trust that this reading has helped those that it's resonated with and if it did resonate and you would like a personal reading, all of the details are in the description box below. I look forward to doing your autumn reading soon. But in the meantime, do enjoy my daily mini readings. Take care, my darling, and lots of love. Bye bye.